There's only a few things that I like more than an international tractor, but not many. Yo, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today we got 23 mods to take a look at for all platforms. We got 12 new and 3 updates. For PC and Mac, we have 5 new and 3 updates as well. I make mod review videos every time they're released on the end game mod app, so get subscribed if you're new. That way, never miss any and let's start off today with some new mods for all platforms first up we got the international 1455 xl aka in game it's the case ih 1255 4t5 first gen either way this has got 125 horsepower we got a manual transmission 200 liters of fuel 24 miles an hour at 6.2 tons this is going to be 13 slots on consoles as far as wheel brands go starting off with trelleborg we also have Friedstein, and that's it both between those, that is it. Standard and wide tires, standard and wide tires. Not a lot of wheel options on this one, so heads up there. Also, front mounted, we got a weight carrier, front weight. Back and forth between those. Uh, the weight, it looks like, is 700 kilograms, I believe. They don't say, but it's what it looks like. As far as your exhaust system, we got a couple different ones through here. You choose which one you like. Air filter, so we've got a low and a high, or kind of nothing, I guess. Just a little low one. And then we've got the 1255 engine, which 125 horsepower, and the 1455 with 145 horsepower. Main color includes two different used colors and then two different restored colors. A little bit of a lighter and a little bit of a darker color there. And the rim colors, we've got three. Basically, we have a beige, we have gray, and we have black. If you guys are interested, definitely check this mod out. It's here for all platforms. Next up, we have the Ilma F3000 series. Now, if you guys are like me, you probably have a bunch of Massey Ferguson's installed. This is not the Massey Ferguson 3000 series, which is right here. It's not the base game version. It is the Ilm F. So it's going to be found a little bit lower. We have three different versions here, all with their own kind of unique quirks and bits. So... Let's just start it off with the first one, the 3600. We got 113 horsepower on here, manual plus power shift, transmission, 260 liters of fuel, 24 miles per hour, and 5.9 tons. As far as your wheel brands on here goes, we have Trelleborg, we also have Michelin tires, Continental, Friedstein, BKT, Midas, and back end. So we pretty much have all of the standard ones that you would expect. Uh, as far as your wheel setups, doesn't look like we got anything too wild and crazy. But we do have a lot of them, so you may have to go through and kind of find the ones that you like. As far as your terminal, we have the Agrotronic. We also have the Datatronic, and back and forth between those two. That's going to be your module inside. Massey Ferguson roof sticker. Well, yes or no, definitely say yes to that. Front grid sticker, so we have front left, middle, and uh, well, that's it, isn't it? So where is this? Oh, the badging on the front. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Front loader. We got a quickie and Hauer engine setups for this one are 113 and 133 as well as 150. That's not bad. Main color, we got new and used. And then the frame color, we have a bunch of different blacks on there as well. That's pretty cool. This one is 16 slots. Now making our way over, I'm guessing we're probably going to see the same wheel options for all of these. Uh, that looks to be the case. Terminal is the same. Sticker is the same. Sticker on the front's the same, and your front loaders are the same as well, plus all the extras. So this version right here is also 16 slots. However, 126 horsepower only. That's your difference there. And then the other version, your last one, the 3115. Again, we have all of the same options through here, but we have 115, 130 horsepower engines only on there. But that looks to be the only difference. This one is 18 slots. Your last new tractor mod for all platforms today is going to be the Fent 900 S4, the 900 Vario as it is in game, or uh, just be careful because we also have the Vario S4 as well as the Vario S4. So be careful, it's the 900 S4, not the Vario. But once you get in the game, it's the Vario. You confused? <laughs> Me too, man. Let's move on. Uh, this is 305 horsepower, at least to start off with. We got a 600 liters of fuel. We also have 38 liters of depth. That makes any sense to you. 37 miles per hour and 10.9 tons. Console players are going to find that this is 14 slots. As far as your wheel brands, Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Bradstein, and Nelkian. All of the above. Do we have tracks? Nope. No tracks. 
Am I the only one that wants to see tracks on one of these? I think that'd be awesome. Design, we have standard, we have left beacon, right beacon, both beacons are standard. Standard is no beacon, by the way. Warning signs, well, you can throw those up. If you guys are using this in a uh, United States or uh, North or South American version, you may want to go without the warning signs there, but it does look good. As far as engine goes, 305, 366, 396 horsepower options. So very normal horsepower options on this one. Nice to see. Main color, mm, no petrol, but we do have the old fit. We also have white, communal, and black. I want my blue. <laughs> it does look good though, doesn't it? Uh, rim colors, however, we have all of them, which makes it nice and easy. You can choose what you like. Good to go. Your next new mod for all platforms can only be described as, why haven't we had this before? This makes so much sense from Kenny456. We've got the tractor processor. This weighs 1.5 tons, which is very important because it's very lightweight and it requires 190 horsepower. DJ, what am I looking at here, man? Well, you good, sir, are looking at a tree harvester, which is working with three point hitch. How cool is this, man? So they say this is a wood harvester implement with three point hitch. It's used for processing trees to the logs of different sizes, just like the end game wood harvesters. You need to switch back and forth between the control of the crane and the processor head. You've got a working camera and working lights. Uh, it's going to be $70,000. So it's a little bit high, but it is what it is. And uh, crane length is eight meters. So whenever you guys are cutting your logs, well, Make sure they're like 16 or less-ish. You should be good. Hey, check this out. We got ourselves a new Birchman trailer today, the HTW45. Now, heads up, this is not a bulk trailer. This is for forage crops only. So grass, hay, straw, silage, chaff, uh, wood chips, I believe. So that's nice to see as well. Will brands include Trelleborg, if I can get my <laughs> settings here, right? Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Rodstein, and then you've got basically a narrow and a wide tire option for each one of these. We do have a cover. So if you want to use that, cover comes to the side starting. That's a really cool cover. Check that out. Yeah, it looks nice. And then you got your license plate. But that's about it. 45,000 liters, 9.7 tons, and it is 10 slots. This is pretty cool right here. This is the Lizard GHC Avade. This is a mower. Look at this. So the way it supposedly works is the wheels turn as it goes along the ground. And when the wheels turn, the blade turns as well cutting the grass very very quickly i may add this is neat so this is from Hulse fs and gen fs yeah it's just kind of a mower at the end of the day but it looks super cool 80 horsepower it's got a 1.8 meter working with so you're not gonna be doing this fast however you can put this on the back of the zader that we've got that really cool classic one put this on the back of that 12 miles per hour actually does that have 80 horsepower i don't i don't know but they show it off in their, their merchandise material their marketing material configurations include uh, well not actually a whole lot is it oh you put more of these together what yo also got some wheels on the back as well if you need that chassis color we got a nice pretty blue that is a like a petrol blue almost a couple different custom colors plus all your base game colors rim colors are exactly the same wheel color well you can change that up let's go bright green check that out and then lastly rim color well we don't have those because we don't have the configuration but now it is four slots for this not bad the next new one for all platforms is a pretty simple mod the bell pushers from ey modding and you can change your colors up to base colors of whatever you want there's one slot nice and easy front three point hitch nice and easy again and you just kind of go up to your square bells or maybe you want to push around some round bells if you would really like this just kind of bumps them right out of the way for you. It makes it easy for auto loading. Next, we have the olive tree. Now we got uh, grapes and olives in the game. Now you've got an olive tree. This is a production chain at the end of the day. It does have some visuals here. So whenever you do something, an olive tree will grow. Now we go in here, you can see we have three different ways to make olives. You've got water, but it's 64 liters water in, 64 liters of olives out. Then we have a version where you need water, seeds, and fertilizer. Now, with these seeds and fertilizer, they take very little. However, they take a lot less water. Also, we have half as many cycles, or twice as many rather, if you do it this way. Then you've got another way with seeds and manure. So one liter seed plus five liters manure 
plus 24 liters of water gives you your 64 liters of olives. So we got a nice little kind of grouping there. Better off the further you go. Use water, you get half as much in half the time. I got the other way, you get a whole lot more. That's a neat mod. Also, yeah, the, the tree won't appear until you do something, so you, you gotta do something first. Next up, we got the Garage with Chicken Coop. So this is gonna cost you $30,000, holds 50 chickens, so it's not too bad. We've got doors here, which open exactly the way you would expect them to, I think. Uh, just go in front of the bay that you want and it'll open and close that door. Speaking of door, that is not a human-sized door. Oh, but I fit. Check that out. So there's nothing in here, but we do have some nice uh, options there. Open up here. You think good? Yeah, that's where your chickens go. How easy is that? That's pretty simple. One thing I really like about this mod, I think you guys are going to like it too. Most things in the game, they just kind of spin. Now, you can make them snap if you want to, but they just kind of spin. If you go to animals, you go to chickens, and you go to the chicken coop, this kind of goes do, 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 whenever you're turning it. So you could kind of easily get this to line up with something much, much easier by itself than you could in any other way. I like it. Maybe this is a feature you guys like as well. If it is, let me know. Next is the grain storage mod. So this is neat. We have two different versions. One is just a triple bay, and the other one is a quadruple bay. These remind me so much of the original sheds that were on, uh, oh gosh, I believe it was Green River. Yeah, not Green Valley, Green River, uh, back in Farming Simulator 17. I think they changed a few things up for 19. I know they're doing some different stuff for 22 as well. But these remind me a lot of those. You could put vehicles in here. You could do uh, crops because these do have collisions on the sides. And if you want a larger one, well, here you go. Perfect. And if you need something smaller, well, here you go. This is called the Small Garage from Ica. So we have a four bay small garage. Does it open up by halfway? It does open up by halfway on the doors. They shouldn't collide, and they don't. Plenty of room. We've got a little boop up into it. Just ever so slightly. Actually, no, we don't. Um, Hang on. Let's go and jump at our, our international real quick here. So there's a little lip that goes right into this. Ooh, this is slow. Um, <laughs> There we go. Into, into top gear. Is that a work? I wonder if the collision's working on this. Well, I think that answers that question, doesn't it? And your last new mod for all platforms today is the Caravan, making its way back from Farming Simulator 19. So, does it open up like normal? Yes, it does. Please let me in. Oh, so you're gonna have to jump to get in, be ready for that. Uh, so come over here. You could sleep on the uh, little bed right there. Got some areas inside. Very cool. Very cool. Gonna get your. What does that say? I'm not repeating that. Get out of here. <laughs> Nonetheless, this is looking good. If you guys are looking for something kind of neat, this is super cheap as well. It's a thousand dollars. I don't know if it would be that cheap in real life or not, but hey. It is here, so let's go. Okay, we do have some mod updates for all platforms that you guys need to know about before jumping in today. The first one is the map, Cow Farm. This is gonna be version 1002. They reduced the size of the file overall. It's now down to 142 megabytes. They've expanded the feeding capacity for the animals. As far as cows go, we had liquid manure capacity up to 100,000 liters, milk capacity up to 345,000 liters, straw to 260, and food, to 200,000 liters. That's a whole lot of food. Well, they say it's grown by. I'm not sure what it was before. As far as sheep, food capacity is now 120,000 liters. They've added a couple of bigger machines, added a larger capacity for feeding cart, reduced the size of the course, and updated the PDA map. So, a lot of changes here. I don't think that uh, you need to do any new game save. They don't say anything about it, but load in see how everything is if you're not experiencing all of these changes 
Just get a new game save, you'll be good to go. Next up to you today is the Mac AR Frame Pack from Agrotron Mining. It's going to be version 101. They fixed a collision issue with the IT Runner body. Now, we are going to talk more about this and farm some news later today. Check the first pinned comment for that. That video will be out after this one. So if you're watching it uh, as soon as this come out, um, just hang tight. Be here soon. And your only other mod update for all platforms today is the German Road Signs. It's going to be version 1.1. They adjusted the weight of the shields for console players, which is now wearable. Not sure what that means. Uh, and it redirects. Uh, redirects can now be set up and numbered so that is nice let's make our way into new mods for pc and mac players today the very first one is the ursus c3120 small tractor so through here we've got will brands of trelleborg michelin continental minus bkt rosdan and nucky and tires as per always plus we've got custom versions in all of them that's nice it's got 115 horsepower with a manual plus power shift transmission 180 liters of fuel 24 miles an hour and 4.8 tons smaller tractor but it's supposed to be as far as your design goes we have a standard design we have the plate now what do we see about the plate that's going to be on the very back Ooh, okay that's kind of nice we also have a tra tractor triangle that's nice to see or nothing as far as your weight we've got nothing 250 500 back to zero fenders include standard so with or without we also have an engine setup of 115 horsepower and 125 your main color is going to be changed up between three different reds as far as i clicked out of it rim color we've got those same three reds plus we have white and gray that's nice plus your license plate good to go next up we have the hall build mfg triaxle log trailer this weighs 10.4 tons by itself it's a hefty boy we do have a couple color options so main color we've got quite a few custom colors including nitro blue lime green love that a toothpaste no toothpaste all right we'll go with red and the rim color you've got all four of your base game colors so let's say ham black get out of here <laughs> who are you who is this <laughs> oh it's ham that's the name of the one of the modders not everything's about me let's move on uh plus we have all of these as well i mean that's the perfect colors the perfect one. If you're going to do it, you use these two color palettes. It works. Hey, I like this. Next, we have the Agrabat SCHA2533. This is a cultivator for PC and Mac players. It weighs 2.3 tons. Not that heavy. Six meters. So that's pretty good. 220 horsepower. All right, we're getting a little bit up there. Nine miles an hour. What? 11 miles. Come on now. I'm kidding. This looks great. Love the colors on here as well. Lime green, blue, baby blue, looking really good. Plus, you got different types of tines on the bottom, and you can even make it a little bit larger as well. If you increase, you go up about a ton, 300 horsepower, and 8 meter spread. Nice. Next up, we have the Anhydrous Ammonia Add-on. This is from Fusion Simulations and Loki79. They always do a great job. One of the cool things about this mod, most of you guys probably already know what Anhydrous Ammonia is. Well, this is Precision Farming Ready, which is a huge bonus when having this on the Mod Hub. I know there's some people that are using stuff from third-party sites, things like that. Well, this may be the last one that you need. Uh, it's foundation for all nitrogen fertilizers. Almost 80% of the Earth's atmosphere is comprised to nitrogen and it's not in a chemically or biologically usable form for plants using a complex method called the harbor bosch process nitrogen is captured from the air combined with a hydrogen source and converted into a form that could be used by growing plants ammonia in its form is also known as ammonia gas or anhydrous without water ammonia the more expensive standard liquid fertilizers is nitrous concentration or nitrogen concentration 82 percent <sighs> it's the most effective way to fertilize your crops to ban high nitrogen. Check this out. Anything that holds liquid fertilizer or fertilizer cultivator, something like that, this will hold it. Plus, it also comes with some stuff in it as well. You got a storage tank, which is nice. Uh, definitely check this out. If you guys have been wanting to use anhydrous ammonia, well, it's here. It's right here. And your last new one for PC and Mac players today is a stupid cool mod. This is the Workshop Trigger. Uh, this is... <laughs> Check this out. All right. So it's a placeable workshop trigger, right? It automatically repairs, washes, and paints your vehicle to 100% in all three areas when you just drive over it. So no more getting out of the car or doing anything or trying to do this or that. It just does it for you. However, the maintenance cost per day is pretty high. It's four grand, but it's because repairing and painting the trigger is free of charge. Now, if you only have one vehicle, one tractor, something like that, or maybe a couple, this might not be worth it 
at first. But as you get more things, it's still just four grand per day. So no matter how many times you drive through, no matter how many times you use it, it's only $4,000. So you may consider getting this after you've got a fleet of vehicles be much cheaper. As we said, we do have three updates for PC and Mac players. First was the Iger 2090T. I love this tractor. It's version 101. They've added simple IC, removed the fenders, the RUL has been attachable, added the guidance steering, tire selection expanded, and minor i3D changes. We've also got an empty pallet production. This is version 1.0.3 mod hub update not sure what that means but there you go and your last mod today is going to be the production revamp mod itself it's going to be version 1.2.0.8 but showing is 1.2 add a new translation for spanish italian and french built-in priority system by function has been built in installed for production spawner script sell point script has been installed line break implemented color or colored recipes maximum storage quantities and sorting of production Fill type category support, added display and object display, and warehouse spawn script installed. This is, well, that's a pretty big update, man. Goodness. Well, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoHand fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.